Assalamu alaikum guys how are you this is Atik and uh, I'm welcoming you in the next session of estimation using plan swift so I have opened this sheet in which we are working uh, since session one uh, so in the previous session uh, first of all if you did not watch my previous session or the previous sessions I am going to make the V card at the top at the top right corner of your window so go check those videos and follow the videos so you have you are going to have the better understanding of today's working that what are we going to do today so in today's video i have opened that sample project as excel file which we are preparing since day one so actually what we did in the last video uh, we prepared uh, the quantities we have taken out the quantities of concrete footing concrete retaining wall concrete isolated and uh, footings uh, and these are actually a footing of co columns concrete isolated footing columns so uh, before the concreting if I go to the plans which we have opened in the plan swift so if I go to the plan footing plan I am going to see that we are just having the footing markups at this plan but if I go to the sections couple of sections we uh, which we have on this sheet is X and Y so if I go to the section plan I will going to see that I am having the details of this footing that how much is the width how much is the depth of the footing and other details of uh, 3 inch diameter of perforated pipes and some other details like you are seeing on this plan similarly the detail of reinforcement and then the detail of stepped masonry as well but stepped masonry is the next step before that what should we do before the concreting of footing wall footing and isolated footing if you analyze your sections you will be going to see that you are having 3 inches thick of PCC below your footings so in construction we always have to lay down a PCC before we apply some RCC structure above the earth it is mandatory due to various practices because we are not going to lay our steel on the earth it will be going to get corroded uh, to avoid this thing we are going to lay down a concrete actually it is a lean concrete so it is lean uh, beneath the footing understand so if we analyze the sections we are going to see that the PCC is installed or is applied on the whole area look if I go to the section XX we are seeing that this 3 inches thick PCC is laid down on the whole area yeah if I go to plan section is going to cut from this and we are seeing that PCC is all over this area along this section but we are going to confirm that if it is applied or if it is laid down in this area or not we are going to check the section YY and we are seeing that it is available or it is applied on the west side of the building and up till end so we find out that on the plan the PCC is applied on this whole area actually till this because section Y is till the end of this footing so we only see these section we only see the section till this wall so we are going to have the PCC till this area but if I go to the column details I am seeing that we are having PCC over here as well but this PCC is actually 3 inch wider on the both side of footing so look actually this is the marginal column it is on the boundary of the property so that's why it does not have any PCC on the other side but it is only three inches wide on the uh, one side of the footing so we find out that we are having PCC under these footings column 
and we are going to have the PCC uh, which you can say lean concrete on this area. So what we have to do, we need to go and we need to pick the area command and we are going to write here that we have three inches thick PCC. So press OK and we will see that if I go to select box over here, uh, PCC is starting from this point and it's going all the way till this point. So this is PCC on the whole plane of area while we are having PCC on this plane as well. But we are going to take its quantity from this columns sheet. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to to the sheet of my Excel and we are going to type here before the actually before this concreting. So what is this? We are going to write here that three inches thick PCC slab on whole area. So what is this giving us that if we go to this sheet, we are going to see that on this PCC footing, we are having 3629 square foot of area. So 3629.2 is the area which we marked and on the side we are having 0 0.25 feet thick PCC slab. So we are going to get the quantity of PCC slabs. So we get 907 cubic foot of PCC thick slab beneath the footing. But this is for the whole area. If I go and get another PCC, what are we going to see that we are having one actually two CF CF1 footings. So if one CF1 footing is five foot wide and four feet and six inches wide. So what we are going to have the dimensions for three inches thick PCC slab for CF1. So what it's going to do, it will be like we have how much uh, actually no we have two footings so multiply by 5.25 5 feet wide is the cf1 but we are having three inches extra on both the sides so five feet and three inches wide multiply by five feet and nine inches in length and how much is the thickness thickness is 0 0.25 because it is three inches thick so 0 0.35, this is going to give us the cubic foot quantity of PCC slab under CF1. So we are going to repeat this whole process for all the footings because we know the dimensions. So CF2, we have only one footing. So how much is this? It will going to have the same figure because the dimensions are same. If I go to CF3, so what is going to have CF3? In CF3, we are going to change it because we have three feet and six inches wide. So it will be going to three feet and nine inches wide while three feet and nine inches in length. So four cubic foot and at the end, we are going to have CF4, which is again, uh, Yes, it's the same dimension, so we are going to have the same cubic foot of quantity for CF4. So, actually, today's section is a uh, today's session is about the sections reading, the how you are going to read the sections. We are only left with this drain pipe. I am going to cover the drain pipe, and in the next session, I am going to cover that how you are going to pick the quantities of cement, sand, and even the rebar. And the last is aggregate that how you are going to uh, get the quantities of cement, sand and aggregate from this concrete cubic foot. So in the next session, again, I'm going to work on this Excel sheet. So stay tuned and you will be going to get great and well information from my sessions. And I hope you are liking my videos again at the end. Only one thing I'm going to ask you that don't leave me without subscribing and don't leave this video without you like it whether you like it or dislike it just put your thumbs up or thumbs down to this video and stay safe 
गुड लक फॉर यूर फ्यूचर बाय बाय